All right, we are still working on some weather. So today we're gonna to be talking about air masses and fronts. So let's start with air masses first. So air masses are just a big chunk of air. That's exactly what it sounds like. It's a mass of air. It can be um, as big as this county, uh, McDowell County. It could be as big as North Carolina, or it could be even bigger and cover a couple of states at a time. Um, so it just depends, but it's all gonna be one temperature. Okay, so if you have um, a big cold air mass that's covering all of McDowell County, then that cold air mass, that big chunk of air is going to be all one temperature and it's going to move as the wind blows it. Okay, and then it's going to go on by and go um, to the next area in the world. Okay, we're in the state. All right, um, so let's talk about fronts. So there's four different types of fronts and a front is when two air masses meet each other. Now, something really important to remember is that when two chunks of air, when they meet each other, they never combined, okay? They just meet each other, and then one of them is going to push off of the other one, okay? And we're going to talk about that in just a minute and how that works, okay? But it's really important to know that when those two chunks of air meet each other, they do not mix together, okay? So, like I was saying, one of them is going to push one out of the way, which means one of them is moving, okay? And so... I have a trick on how to remember which one is the one that's going to be moving. So we're going to start with a simple one. We're going to start with a warm front. Okay. You might have this in your notebook. Um, if you don't, you might want to add it in there because it's really important. All right. So a warm front. So remember a front is just the boundary line. Okay. The line in between when those two air masses meet because they don't mix with each other. So there's, there's a line that separates it. Okay, that's your front. So if we're talking about a warm front, well, how do we know which air mass is moving towards the other one and going to push it out of the way? Well, whatever one is moving is the one that has the name. Okay, so if it's a warm front, then the warm air mass is the one that's moving and the cold air mass is the one that's going to be standing still. All right, before we draw this, it's really important to know a couple of other things. First of all, let's go back and talk about how um, we talked about high and low air pressure, okay? And how warm air floats, rises, right? And cool air sinks. So that's important when we're drawing our air masses because they're gonna be warm and cold air masses. And so when we draw them, we wanna make sure that we understand that when one moves out of the way, is it gonna go up or is it gonna come down? Okay, so back to this warm front so which one is the one that's moving the warm air mass it's gonna be moving into the cold okay so we're just gonna draw a big chunk of air and I'm gonna use red and uh, blue to represent our warm and cold air masses all right so here is our warm air mass big chunk of air and it is going to be moving in towards our cold air mass. Okay. Now, where is my front? Where is the front? Right. It's right here. It's that boundary line between the two air masses. They don't mix together. They just meet each other. But in this case, they're not just staying still. So we have to represent the fact that the warm air mass is the one that's moving, okay? The one that's moving gets the name. Don't forget that. So this air mass is moving in, so this one's gonna push it out of the way. Go back and think about your air, uh, your air pressure, okay? High and low air pressure and what warm and cold air, and air do, okay? So warm air, floats cool air sinks so as this one's moving in I'm going to draw arrows it's going to be pushing towards the cool air mass and it's going to be pushing upward and then the cool air mass is going to be moving out of the way and downward okay now something else that's really important and that um, we're going to be talking about when we talk about the jet stream is that warm air also moves slowly Cooler air moves faster. It's really important to remember, okay? So, 
when I do this demonstration in class, I normally talk about siblings. Okay, so siblings fighting. So you have one sibling here and one sibling there. All right. This is the one that's moving into this one. So running after your sister and pushing her out of the way. Except that you're not running very fast. Okay, you're running slowly towards her. So when you push her out of the way, is it going to be a big collision or a little one? It's probably going to be a little bit smaller, right? Because you're not really moving very quickly. So as this air mass moves into this one, we need to think about, well, what's our weather going to be? When this one hits this one, they're opposite. So something's going to happen. There is a collision here at that front. But it's just not going to be a big collision because it, it didn't move very fast. It's slow. The slow one is the one that's moving. So with a warm front, you're probably going to get stratus clouds. Okay, remember, those are those dark layered clouds. And what do they bring? Rain. That steady rain, right? Not thunderstorms, just that steady rain coming through. Now, it's the warm moving the cold, so you probably are going to have rain and not snow. But depending on where you live, remember we talked about these are, are chunks of air over top of us, okay? So if we live on this side of the county, we might be getting some snow before it moves completely out of the way, right? Or if we're on this side of the county, maybe we're getting rain, okay? Because the warm is moving in. It just depends, okay? You with me? Alrighty. I forgot to grab something to race this with. So I'm gonna use my fingers and hopefully it'll race. Okay, next one. We are going to I wish I had something with me. Okay, we are going to go ahead and do a cold front. All right, so if you're doing this with me, or maybe in your notebook, go ahead and switch over to cold front. Sorry, my board is dark and messy because I forgot to get something to wipe it with. Okay, so a cold front. Same thing, the one that gets the name is the one that's moving, okay? So this time we're drawing a cold air mass, I'm gonna use my blue, and it's gonna be moving towards a warm air mass. I'm gonna use my red. So this one's warm, air mass. This one, oop, cold air mass. Probably should have put them a little closer together, but where is my front? Right, it's that boundary line between the two of them. Okay, remember the air masses don't mix together, they just meet each other. Okay, so which one is the one that's moving again? The cold air mass. So the cold air mass is moving in. What does cold air do? Sink or float? Sink. Okay, so as this one's moving in, it's also moving down and pushing this guy out of the way. As he's being pushed out of the way, he's moving out of the way and up because warm air floats. Okay, now, we were talking about the uh, warm air and how it moves slowly, right? And what did we say about the cold air? Right, it moves fast. So now, looking at your brother and sister fighting, this one is running fast, 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 fast into their brother or sister. Big collision or little? Big, big collision. So what kind of weather are we gonna get with a cold front? Well, with a cold front, it's gonna be moving fast, so we are gonna get thunderstorms, okay? Again, depending on where you live, so if you're over here, you might get rain, big thunderstorms. Okay, you could possibly get some hail. That's going to happen in the warmer area too. Snow. Or possibly even a tornado. Okay, because again, this guy's moving fast. And if you have a big um, chunk of air moving fast, it's going to create lots of wind. Wind. Okay. All right, so that is your cold front. Now, how many did I say that we have? How many fronts? Not two. We have four. So if we've done cold and we've done warm, what could be left? We have one called a stationary front.
stationary front. So if you're familiar with the word stationary, then you might have a clue on what this looks like. So before I said the one that has the name is the one that's moving. Well, stationary doesn't say warm or cold, so that's a little bit confusing. But if you know what the word stationary means, then it might be helpful. So this time we have a warm and a cold front, but or warm and a cold air mass, but it doesn't matter which one's on which side. Okay, just pick a side. So I'm just gonna do my cold first and then I'm gonna do my warm you can like I said you can do whatever you want the warm could go first doesn't matter where is my front the boundary line between the two air masses when they meet each other okay now what does stationary mean it means that they're not moving Okay, so this one reminds me of when siblings are in the back seat of a car and they're fighting. So mom's watching or grandma's watching or dad's watching and so you can't like really like hit on each other a whole lot because they're right there in the front. Okay, but every once in a while you just kind of give like a little nudge, right? So that's happening here. So when mom and dad's not looking, they kind of nudge each other and then they have to stop. And then they kind of nudge each other because they're they're right by each other and they're opposite. So you have a little bit of push back and forth, but nobody's actually moving, moving into one another and pushing them out of the way. So if they're not really moving, like you and your sister or brother in the back of the car, nobody's really going to go flying somewhere, right? You can't like push them out of the way. You guys are both still sitting in your seats. So in a stationary front, you're not going to have... Um, a big collision so you're probably just gonna have some light rain and light wind okay again it depends on where you're living so if you're more on this side you might have some light snow if you're on this side you might have some light rain all right all right last one are you ready for it Last one, it's called the occluded front. I'll show you. Occluded, occluded front. Okay, so this one has a little hint in its name as to um, what types of air masses we are gonna draw. Let's take a look, Let's pause, see if you can figure it out. All right. So, we have two air masses that are meeting one another, but we already did a warm front, we already did a cold front, and then we did our stationary. So, what could possibly be left? Well, does that help? Yeah, we're going to have two cold air masses meeting one another. So, using your blue... I know this looks like clouds, but it's not clouds, it's big chunks of air. So we have a cold air mass and another cold air mass. They're meeting one another. They might be a little different temperature, but they're both cold. Here's my front, the boundary line in between two air masses. Okay. All right, what do we know about cold air? Well, cold air sinks so it's probably gonna be fairly lower to the ground towards us okay and we know that cold air moves quickly right it moves fast big collision okay so I know like I said they're both cold but they're still not gonna combine they might be a little bit different temperature but they're still gonna be both very cold but we are gonna have a big collision so we are gonna have um, a big storm you could have some thunderheads, some of those cumulonimbus clouds, um, hail, um, actually probably not hail, sorry. Hail usually comes with warmer weather. Sleet, sleet and snow. Um, I'm looking at the wrong one, that's why. Um, yeah, strong winds, heavy rain, and heavy snow. Again, it depends on exactly what the temperature is um, as to if you're going to get sleet and um, snow or rain. So it can be cold and still be rain. It doesn't always have to be snow. 
So like I said, it totally depends on the temperature. Okay. All right. So those are your four fronts. And we talked about air masses. So I hope that that helps as you guys are watching um, the weather channel and you are um, jotting down what's happening every day. And now that when you're watching and they're talking about air masses in front, you'll know exactly what they're saying. Okay? All right. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope that helped. Bye.